Okay, part two. We just looked at supposedly the most beautiful male physique in the world. Um, C.A. Bath from, uh, I guess he was from London, England. Um, let's go on. This is, oh, this is C.A. Back as well. C.A. Back, C.A. Back. So, um, Hannah of London, 1932, both of these. So here we have a um, pose with a bow. Here's one that would probably be with a staff, but no staff. I'm wondering if the negative was edited. It may have been. There's another CA back. So we got four of CA back, 1932. And here he has the bow. He's probably the bow. This is David Lorraine, 1933. Looks like he was, he's the body of a dancer. Tony Sansoni. This is one of my favorites of his, uh, this, this picture. Uh, 1932, Townsend. Over 1932, uh, Townsend. So this one is probably my favorite. Probably the most, to be honest, probably the most ex explicit uh, Sansoni, Sansoni picture there is because of uh, what's revealed. There's this one here that's more modest. Thirty-two. This one's thirty-five. He looks a little more chiseled. I mean, he always looks chiseled. Gorgeous. One of my favorites. Oh, there's more. This is uh, 1935. I believe this is from Duo. The Duos. Um, again. Sort of posing with mirrors. This is another Townsend, Bert Goodrich. He ran a gym in Hollywood, was popular with many stars in the 40s and 50s in 1935. I love this picture. This is gorgeous. This one, I love this. The bronze. It looks like he could be Hispanic. Bert Goodrich. Beautiful skin tone. At Townsend, this is Sigmund Klein. Klein was a gymnasium proprietor and master of physique posing, wearing his gladiator boots. He had a big, really wide chest. Leaning against the column, 1935. Caleb Saunders. Saunders won a, won a Tony Sansoni look-alike contest with this pose. Mm, maybe. The pose is amazing, though. This is a good pose. Look how dirty his toes are. They look like they have, um, they're gangrenous, they're going to fall off. Caleb Saunders, 1936. Raymond Van Cleef, uh, by Townsend. Writer, physique historian, and gym proprietor Van Cleef was well-respected in the world of physique culture. Hmm. His hand is weird, like it's bent in. This is unknown Professor K.V. Iver. Both of these are. Ivor was renowned as uh, possessing one of the finest Indian physiques of his day. He operated a, a uh, gym in Bangalore. Here we have the pan flutes, the two pan, pan flutes. 1935. More. Zoom 1935. Lifting. He had some big feet. Uh, KV Ivor 1935. Unknown. Ah, so the book I just covered was uh, James Gravitz. He was the one who um, who wrote it, and there were some photos of him. Here's James Gravitz again. Gravitz is a part-time artist model and a full-time motorcycle policeman. Wow. Motorcycle policeman. Here he has a posing strap. Yours for strength and health. Jim Gravitz, 1935. I guess that's health. It says age, but strength and health usually go together. Hmm. He does have a great physique. He is married. You can see a, a wedding ring on his finger. 1935. 
This is Barton Horvath. In 1935, Horvath later became a skilled physique photographer himself. Here we have a rare frontal from 1935. Wow. Barton Horvath. This one is uh, Fraser Ferguson, 1935, unknown photographer. This is uh, Lawrence Woodford. Woodford, known as the Prince of Posers. Here he interprets the awakening. Looks very young. A studio of Port of Spain, Trinidad. Harry Gomez, 1935. A great pose. Kind of washed out though. In the, yeah. Edward Townsend, Leo de Cara, 1937. He's either full bushed out or that's been edited. Um, here is an un unedited uh, Leo Decaro, 1937. Edward Townsend, New York, but there is a question mark. I'm not sure if it is Townsend. This is uh, Louis Gabarini, 1935. This is a photographer's proof sheet. Hmm. Really good poses. This is Gebby, or Robert Gebhardt, New York, uh, Joseph Kubik, 1939. Gebby uh, Terry Robinson, 1939. Hmm. Nicely toned, looks very strong. You can actually see hair on his leg here. Here's another Gebby. This one is edited. Um, Rudolf Hader, 1949. Gebby. I love that pose. He's very young. He looks fairly young, maybe early 20s. Really nice pose. This is um, unknown, the amazing Cranfeld. That's the subject. He is intensely handsome. Britain's Strongest Youth, 1939. Look at that stare. He's staring right through you with his gladiator boots. This is John Cavus, 1938, unknown photographer. Here's John Cavus, unknown, 1938. Al Urban, Henry Karzu. Karsuski, 1939. Um, the photographer, so Al, uh, announced that in January 1940 he would offer any lifter a princely sum of $25 who could duplicate this pose of this model. Apparently no one could. Hmm. Wow. I guess it's a rare... This is painted on, so this is not um, part of the original pose. Another one with the painted on pouch. This is unknown by Urban, 1940. There's another unknown 1940. This one, the pouches, this one was one of those pasties, pasties and it was peeled off, but it's still, um, it discolored the original photo. This is um, only identified as Dick on reverse, 1939. John Hernick, New York, Bill Campisi, 1940. Looks like, what's he looking at? Campisi again, 1940. And again, John Hernick, Bill Campisi, 1940. He's a little doodly. All natural. Gene Jansen, 1940, unknown photographer. He's a great um, profile. Same thing, 1940. Bill Hands, 1940, or Gord from Bill. Looks short and stocky. Look at that high-waisted 
uniform. Bill Hilgardner. Hilgardner was a model and athlete, swimming instructor in Bombay, India. This is uh, J. Anthony Bruno of New York, and this is uh, Simon Cornblum. Best. What does that say? Best. Slew of S L three. I can't read that. Um, nineteen forty. He's gorgeous, though. He probably looks like he's maybe eighteen, nineteen. He looks fairly young for a physique uh, model. Earl Forbes, Terry Robinson, nineteen forty. Earl Forbes, uh, and this is Terry Robinson, 1940, again. Here we have a little peeker. Little peek. He probably didn't realize, or maybe he did. I mean, the photographer probably most likely did, but look how, how unbalanced this photo is. You have all this white space, and it's cut off at the foot. I think he may have been distracted. This is uh, J. Anthony Bruno, New York, and this is Terry Robinson. 1940. Earl Forbes uh, was the photographer in Cayman Voyages, 1940. Strange name. And this is uh, him again. Cayman Voyages. Looks like a completely different person. The ears look the same, though. It's the lighting. There's another Cayman Voyages. They look like three different people. What the heck? Um, there's another Earl Forbes, but this is an unknown model from 1940. And I can feel we're getting towards the end. Earl Forbes, unknown, 1940. This one has hole punched in it. Hmm. And again, unknown, 1940. This one's beautiful. It looks like a maple thorpe. It's very focused. And we have the last one. This is unknown. Earl Forbes, 1940. I like how the leg is kind of drawn up. And there we go. This is the Adonis, the male physique pinup. End of part two and the end of the book. Thought I'd show it off. Um, artsy and uh, historical and watch YouTube um, kill my monetization because it shows scantily clad men in artistic poses. Not fair, but it is what it is, and I do love to share my collection. So anyway, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching.